let's determine if a function is even, odd, or neither. In this video, we're really going to talk about determining even, odd, or neither using algebra. But just to review, the graph of an even function is symmetric with respect to the y-axis, meaning that its graph remains unchanged after reflection about the y-axis. Examples of even functions are the absolute value of x, x squared, x to the fourth, and so on. The graph of an odd function has a rotational sym symmetry with respect to the origin, meaning that its graph remains unchanged after rotating of 180 degrees about the origin. Examples of odd functions are x, x to the third, and so on. Let's use algebra to determine if these functions are even, odd, or neither. So to do that, we need to put negative x in for x. So I'm going to have f of negative x equals, now everywhere I have an x, I'm simply going to put a parentheses. Now I'm going to substitute negative x in there. So f of negative x equals, now negative x squared is actually just x squared. So do you see I come back with my original? That means it's an even function. Anytime I put negative x in for x and I end up with my original, it's an even. Let's look at the next one. So once again, I put negative x in for x. So I'll have f of negative x equals, now I put a parenthesis everywhere there's an x, to the third. So I'm going to put a negative x in here. So I'm going to have f of negative x equals, now negative x to the third is negative x times negative x times negative x which gives me negative x to the third. Now do you see that this is exactly opposite of this? The original was x to the third and I get negative x to the third. Well that tells me it's an odd function. Remember if I put negative x in and I get the opposite of my original, it's an odd function. So let's just look at those two graphs really quick. Um, and this comes from the Wolfram Demonstrations project. So f of x equals x squared. Well here's my x squared. Now do you see if I put a mirror right here, the left side would look exactly like the right side. Okay, and that's along my y-axis. Now let's look at f of x equals x to the third. Now that means if I made a line y equals x, if I flip it, kind of flipping it around the origin, which is 0, 0, that shows that it's an odd function. So to determine if a function is even, odd, or neither, we need to put negative x in for x. So we'll have f of negative x equals, now what I like to do at first is just put a parenthesis everywhere there's an x, because then I know I won't miss one. Okay, so now I'm going to put my negative x in those parentheses. So negative x to the sixth is actually x to the sixth minus 2. Now x, negative x to the second is actually just x squared plus 4. So I actually have x to the sixth minus 2 x squared plus 4. Now we need to compare this one to the original. And do you notice that they're exactly the same? Well that tells me that this is an even function. So let's determine if this function is even, odd, or neither. So we'll put negative x in for x. And so what I like to do is make a parenthesis everywhere there's an x for right now. And then I'll put negative x in there. And now I'll actually kind of simplify it. So negative x to the third is negative x to the third minus 4 times negative x. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive. So I'll have negative x to the third plus 4x. Now I need to look at this. Negative x to the third is opposite x to the third, 
and positive 4x is opposite negative 4x. So this turns out to be an odd function. Let's figure out if this one is even, odd, or neither. So once again, put a negative x in for all of your x's. So I'm just going to make a parenthesis for right now where all of my x's are. Now I'm going to put negative x in there. Okay, so negative x to the third is actually negative x to the third plus negative x squared is x squared plus one. Well, negative x to the third is the opposite of x to the third, but positive x squared is the same as positive x squared. So it's neither even or odd. So this one's actually a neither. If you're looking for some more practice, go to www.piecrust.com for lots of free math worksheets with the solutions.